So we're just gonna put in our pine wood shavings. And we do one layer, thick layer of pine wood shavings, and then we're gonna kind of small down on the layer over here because we have some rocks where her food is gonna, or drinking is gonna be. And then we put, uh, sprinkle some Care Fresh on just so it's a different texture for their paws. But most of our Tina and Shanique really like the pine wood shavings. where we're at so we just took some of this out of the old cage that we literally set up yesterday so and, it's so clean and it's okay that this is there because it's gonna get messy anyways and we're just gonna jam that in and I know it seems like a lot but she'll dig right under that and they like to just be in tight little spots <coughs> <laughs> so that's what her little dark Kind of big hut actually for her, but I feel like she'll like it. And we made the ground level a little different here. So that's that. Of our new purchases, if you haven't seen our last week's video, this is from our haul. And it was $7, which is good. And we're thinking of kind of digging it in and it leaves. We can go under there to our little hideaway and then also go on top. We're also, we're gonna put our food up there. And the reason we're putting her food up there is because she, one, she always tips it over, so here it's gonna stay. And two, she also gets a lot of these shavings in, and it's just annoying because then she won't eat. Yeah. So. You have to keep emptying it, and it's a waste of food. So that way it'll stay clean. And now let's go in with our rocks. And we also put our water bowl here. And this is good also so she doesn't get these pellets in her, her water. Because we are going to start actually using a bowl instead, which is new for her. But we feel like because she's so tiny, I think it's better. And with the cage, we don't want to make a hole mm -hmm. and then for her to hurt her fingers. If we notice that the water is getting really dirty, we will make a hole and then seal it up yeah. with some hot glue. But for now, we're going to try this out and I think it should go fine. So we already tested it out. Um, we put her next to the bowl of water and she was drinking from it. So she'll be fine. She knows. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we just rinsed these rocks and we literally just got these from a local park. But we wanted to make sure they were clean and we're also going to add it to our nature area just to give it like different feels. It looks so cute. Alright, so we're going to put this in here. And this is also from our most recent video is the silent spinner. We'll link that down below. And then we have our water bowl here now too. And it's kind of, it looks really cool. It looks like a nature section. Now we're using the rest of our care brush that we have. We do have to buy more. But Shaniqua doesn't like this. She just prefers to actually, it's really weird. I think she gets really hot because she has long fur, so she just yeah. sits there. And she pushes it and out she of the pushes way. it out of the way. She gets it stuck in her tubes and we're like, okay, there's no point. But uh, Tina likes to cuddle up a lot, so we put a bit of this in her hut and also a bit of the this, this fluff. fluff down in there and then in her bed hut too. So I'm just gonna, and I just literally, I plop a little down like that and then I'm gonna plop a little of the fur because she mixes it herself like she knows how she likes it. So. Mm -hmm. So I leave it perfectly like this for her to do whatever, maybe mix it a bit. And then I just pop the hut on it, make sure everything gets in it. And then she can choose what she does. I don't know what she'll like to do, but it's nice and cozy and it looks tight, but she knows how to move around. She likes it like that. And now we're gonna put in some toys. Yeah. So these are the toys from our haul too. We put a couple in there. We're just gonna get them one of each. And these are like colored, but they're from the pet store, so we know they're perfectly okay for hamsters. Should put them all right. Oh, yeah. Put them in the wrong one. So that's that. 
we just made it and she bites off parts of it mm -hmm. and we just this is the first night we got her and we wanted to make sure she had something so it's just like a little tunnel that she loves to use like she yeah. loves she running right through it there. put it down that goes to her water that's that there you go look she's eating do you like the rocks oh she's playing with the rocks oh are you going in your hut yeah Make it nice and cozy. Look at your little bum. Twerk for us. Oh, she's all snuggled. Hi. So we are going to show you guys the final tour of Tina's cage. There she is on her wheel. So we just have this top here. Take that up. Here is the full cage. Are you excited, honey? Yeah? Okay. So let's start over here. So we have our hut with the fluff. And over here, we have the wheel, which she loves. Again, and then here, this we put in um, when we first got her. She likes to shoot on the sides. And little wood toys, and then some of this little fabric. And then over here, this is a section with all the rock. So we have a little toilet paper thing which likes to run through and chew on. And we have little wooden pieces, some burlap here for different texture and to just chew on and whatever. Her up in here like banging. When she's running on the wheel, it kind of hits on the wall. But then over here we have the rocks and her water drinking sec section. Then we have the wood the platform up here to run up. And then when we get up here, there's some more burlap, a little toy for food. And then underneath the platform is more of the fluff, and she likes to. She likes to go sleep under there as well. So, there you go. This is where we keep all of our hamster supplies. So we have a roll of burlap, some extra toys. This was um, a litter. We were gonna potty train Shaniko when we first got her, but... She's too lazy. <laughs> it wasn't really working out and there wasn't a lot of room in her cage. So, we just use it as a scoop for now. We have the fluff here, the fluff guide for hamsters. We've got their old food, which they don't really like as much. Their new food here, which they love. Crispy. And we and sometimes then, mix it up. Yeah, so we want to use that up. But then we just got an extra wheel here. Some of the care fresh. Another water thing. Some stoppers. And then their donut treats. So it's just really easy to get to if we need to get them anything. 